I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of this exercise is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand, because that is the first step to actually picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles for the first random pull. Joker, East, Pung of South, Red Dragon, 134 in BAMs, 26 in Cracks, 478 in Dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start here, Winds and Dragons. Because there are year ha hands in the Winds and Dragons category, I would keep the two, leaving those for discards. This would leverage the multiple in the hand. There are singles everywhere else, so I would start there. Since we have so many discards, I probably would hold tiles that support the two as an option. So I probably would hold either two, four, six, eight, or threes and fours. One, two, three, four. That would leave that as the discard. So we'll focus on consecutive run or winds and dragons, maybe a year hand. Now this is a bit of a risky pass. We have a three, four, and a two. I think this one is not very useful because of the two crack. So we could make this a little bit better. Maybe even the eight dot because consecutive tiles in the consecutive run category are much more flexible than the 2468 category. So I think I would discard those in the first pass. Focus on wins and dragons, maybe a year hand or consecutive run with 234. We have jokers, a flower, white and red dragon. In dots, we have a two. Cracks, we have a two, four. Bams, we have two, six, seven, eight. All singles, no multiples, except the jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would probably play a year hand. There's a year hand with dragons. If the year hand doesn't work, we could maybe play like numbers with twos. We could even use the dragons for like numbers with twos and dragons. I would probably pass those three. It's going to be risky no matter how you slice it. Year hand or like numbers with twos. Maybe even a quint 
if we can build up one of these twos and dragons, we could play the first quint. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, green and red dragon, east and west with a pair of wests. Then we have single cracks, one, two, six, eight, nine, and a single seven bam, no dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play Winds and Dragons. We could play News with Dragons. We could play News Concealed. Or we could maybe play a Year Hand, East and West with the Year. So I would discard those. If we get other twos, we could play East and West with twos. So I would discard those three in the first pass. If you train yourself to identify the strength in your dealt hand and you start there, hold tiles that support the strength of the hand to reveal tiles for passing. Pass as defensively as you can. By the end of the Charleston, if you have four discards or less, I would say that was a very successful Charleston. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.